Hey guys, thanks for clicking into GuitarPlayerUniversity.com. We're going to go over an advanced way of warming up on the guitar, and I do recommend doing the stretches prior to this, so check out the stretch video. So this is an approach that is really going to stretch out your hands. If this is too hard for you, go back to the intermediate warm-up video, and if this is too easy for you, check out the pro warm-up video. But this is basically cultivating one thing, and that's called the chromatic scale. What's the chromatic scale? It's every single note. So we are not leaving anything out. You noticed with the intermediate warm-up video, we were leaving notes out here and there because we were just technically doing four notes per string. So every now and again, we're skipping a note, and that's not, that's not that great. It's good for when you're in an intermediate to get the technique down of playing, stretching your fingers out, but now we're going to get to the real gusto, which is playing a chromatic scale. So let's start this on the third fret. Now, if you notice, if you take a look in front of you, you say, might say, hey, Drew, what the heck? There's five notes on each string. How are we going to play that? Well, you have to slide a finger. You either have to slide your first finger or you have to slide your pinky. So I usually prefer first finger because it's a lot more dominant, although I do practice both. But realistically, on a gig, if I ever play a chromatic scale, I always use my first finger. So check it out. We are going to slide our first finger up and then play the next four fingers. Um, basically, you want to alternate pick the note. You don't want to just slide it. You want to pick both the first and second note and keep alternate picking through this exercise. You're going to find that you have to you have to switch in these very awkward times to the next string, either on an up strum or a down strum. And that's really one of the big things about this exercise that's good. And I'll play through it now slowly and I'll tell you what, what whether I'm switching on an up or a down and you'll see what happens. So coming back down, we're going to do the same thing. So the first time I switched, I was switching on a down strum and then an up and then a down and it felt really awkward. And it's going to feel very awkward at first. But here's how you can practice this as an entire warm up. Basically, you remember what we did in the intermediate video? Every time we reached the bottom or the top of the guitar, we went up a fret. And that's how we're going to do this one. So. I suggest actually starting this at the very first fret if you feel up to it. It's going to be one heck of a stretch, but that's what this is all about. So take a look. I'm going to make it all the way up to the top of my guitar. It might take me a minute, but I'll get there. Up a fret. Up a fret. So I think you get the idea. Practice this to a metronome. Remember, speed is not the key. It's all about clean and steady. You may have heard my rhythm was varying a little bit. That's why practicing with a metronome is so important. But again, that's the uh, chromatic scale all the way up the neck of the guitar. By the time you're finished with this, you feel like you could play anything. You feel like you can knock somebody out with your left hand. It's a, it's a great feeling. You know the feeling after you've been practicing for about three hours and you're just totally loose and ready to rock? This will get you there uh, probably three times as fast. Um, so it's definitely something I play every time before a gig, every time before I'm going to be uh, playing in the studio or anything like that to get warmed up quickly. This is the scale I use. Thanks for watching and check out more videos at guitarplayeruniversity.com.